This is going to be a quick video on the common ion effect and solubility. Right? So in general, the presence of a common ion decreases the solubility of a salt. Right? If you have an ion that is in common with a salt, increasing its concentration from another source is going to shift equilibrium to the left side and cause less of that ionic compound to dissolve than under normal conditions. And by normal conditions, I mean just being thrown into you know, regular old water. So let's work through a problem in which this concept is the focal point. We're going to calculate the solubility of silver chloride. So we're going to calculate the solubility in grams per liter. But we're going to do it, instead of in water, we're going to do it in a 6.5 times 10 to the negative third molar silver nitrate solution. Right? So the silver nitrate solution is going to have the silver cation. And that's going to be one source of silver. Where another source of silver could be the dissolving of silver chloride. Right? Presence of the common ion is going to you know, decrease the solubility of the silver chloride. But it's not going to change the solubility product K value, right? Because that's an equilibrium constant. So we're only going to focus on the relevant species in solution, right? It's the silver ions and the chloride ions. The nitrate ions are spectator ions. They're, they are unchanged. They're floating around. We're concerned about the concentration of silver and chloride ions to see how much silver chloride is dissolved. Now, silver nitrate is a you know, very strong electrolyte and it completely dissociates. So all of that concentration of the silver nitrate is going to turn into an extra source of silver ions. So because it's a strong electrolyte, we don't have to worry about any equilibrium with the silver nitrate. So we know initially, before you dissolve any of the silver chloride, the silver ion concentration is going to be equal to that silver nitrate concentration, 6.5 times 10 to the negative third. Okay. Now, that's the initial conditions. This is not present. This has not been introduced. And that concentration of silver is present. This is going to decrease by some factor of S. And the concentration of both this and this will increase by a factor of S as it dissolves. It's only 1S because the stoichiometric coefficients in front of the silver and chloride are both 1. Okay, so now we have values to figure out solubility product. We have a concentration of silver, we have a concentration of chlorine. Right? We look at the KSP of silver chloride and we set it equal these two values and we're going to solve for s so because s is 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 quite insoluble the presence really you know farther lowers the solubility uh, we can assume that just to make our math easier that this s is so small compared to 6.5 times 10 to the negative third we can omit it all right so we solve for S using that approximation. So once you have that value for S at equilibrium, the concentration of silver ion, 6.5 times 10 to the negative third plus that, so it's roughly you know, still equal to 6.5 times 10 to the negative third. And the chloride, now this is a typo. This should be Cl minus. That's a typo. Um, that concentration should be equal S, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 8. So the approximation is justified from step 3. All of the chloride ions must come from the silver chloride. Right, so the amount of silver chloride dissolved in silver nitrate solution is also 2.5 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. Okay, because all of all of the chloride concentration has to come from silver chloride. You know that this chloride concentration, chloride solubility, is going to be the solubility of silver chloride in that silver nitrate solution. So we take that value of S 
moles of silver chloride and we multiply by the molar mass to get the gram solubility in this case. The solubility of that in pure water is 1.9 times 10 to the negative third. And as you can see, in a silver nitrate solution with a common ion, the grams per liter solubility is going to be much less.